everyone, how are you? My name is Alex and welcome back to Infinity Craft. This is my last episode for 2018, which is actually going to go up in 2019 because it's the New Year's episode. So I'm recording it in 2018, but it's going to go up in 2019. Okay, wow, that's confusing. Anyways, so as you guys have noticed, I haven't had an episode for this series go out for about a month and it's been about almost a month since my other series have been updated. Long story short, I was very, very sick. I'm not talking about just like a little bit of sick. I mean, I was sick to a very horrible degree. It was pretty bad. I don't know why there were fireworks going off, but okay. Anyway, so a lot of stuff has uh, happened since my brief departure from the server like i have not been able to play like i haven't felt well enough so I'm back now and i'm standing in front of a christmas tree unfortunately i couldn't do a christmas episode this year so i'm doing a new year's episode that's blended with christmas is this yes it is oh my god so um that's a lot of stuff and i don't have the inventory uh so um, Rail Maximus actually put this together, so this is the Christmas tree that he built. I think it's just absolutely adorable, and I've been, like, trying really hard to convince him to never, ever, 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 ever take it down, and basically just leave it here for eternity, because I feel like because he spent all the time on it, that it should be here forever, and I just think it looks awesome. What's that over there? What is that? What is that? There, There is an outline of something in this. Oh my god, what is that? That is very interesting. Um, I hope I'm not spoiling anything. There's just a new building here. Uh, so yeah, the guardian, the giant guardian, is um, has been taken down. And I think this is the replacement of it. I kind of miss it. Because I think, I felt like with the phantom dragon and... Gampar's giant wither skeleton that's over here. Um, I haven't, even though I've been like reading the Discord, I'm not exactly sure what this is for. It's really cool looking. It's almost like as if we're being invaded by giants. So I feel like the giant guardian was kind of cool, you know, alongside these two. But um, what does this say? This says Gampar Industries diamonds for a wither skeleton. <laughs> Gamepar will give one diamond block for each skull you provide. Oh, there are... Oh, wait, that's my ender chest. I was like, what? Oh my god. This is really real. I need to capitalize on that. But um, first, let, let me get my present. Like... Seriously, I need to clean out my inventory. I don't need all this. I was working on something. It wasn't going according to plan. I started it about a month ago. And um, it just did not go according to plan. And I just haven't touched it since. So um, we'll just throw all of that out. And pretend like it didn't happen. I don't need those. I don't need that. Or that. Why do I have... Oh, I know why I have cactus green. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully nobody picks that up, because <laughs> that's quite the inventory hog. So, dear God, that is a lot of iron. I have needed it so badly. Ooh, I didn't know, I didn't even really know we could get drowned heads, but that's fantastic. And, oh, you wrote me a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Minecrafter. Tis the season for giving, and as such, I'm giving you this shulker box full of goodies. I hope you will find it useful, and I hope it helps bring some joy. Happy holidays. That is sickeningly adorable. So, who hasn't picked... Oh, Sir Miliades, you need to get down here and get your gift. I just opened his gift. <laughs> but, um, that is just... I... I'm so happy that he did this. I mean, I already gushed all over it, all over Discord, like, about how sweet it was, but, um, that's just, that's just wonderful. I mean, I, I'm sorry to say, stuff like this didn't occur to me. There's no particular reason why it didn't occur to me. It just didn't occur to me. 
I don't know if maybe it's because I'm atheist. Um, I mean, I do celebrate Christmas, but I am atheist, so it's not, like, at the forefront of my mind sometimes, you know, stuff like this. But um, even so, I just, I think that's absolutely wonderful. It's so cute looking, too. And it's about to be nighttime, so. Oh, all the sheep are... There's some different colors in here. Oh, we have a Jeb sheep! We have a Jeb sheep! Oh, cool! Somebody did a Jeb sheep. I hope no one kills him by accident, because that would be really sad. And we'd have to rename it, rename him another sheep. Um, so... What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna look in here and see what's in here. I wanna see this. This is Buck and Rails Black Emporium. Okay. Watch your step under construction. Oh, it's under construction, really? Please read. Okay, I like reading. I'm fine with reading. All prices are listed in diamonds. Below are the conversions for other payments accepted. Converse chuns is what that says, but is how that's spelled. But I think they mean conversions without, there's no T in conversions. Anyways, um, so one diamond equals 32 iron ingots, 16 gold ingots, 8 emeralds, and 64 gunpowder. Okay, good to know. This is awesome. Hello! Free? Free. It's just free. <laughs> um. Why is this just so full if it's free? I'm, I'm deeply confused by that. Um, I don't need them, but it's good to know. <laughs> just, I like how, like, free. Okay, so is this like a free shop? No, it isn't. Okay. Four stacks for one diamond and stone. All right. Uh, free! <laughs> So not everything's free, but a lot of things are free. Four stacks for one diamond. Good. Uh, two stacks for one diamond. Oh, gra oh. That's actually going to be very helpful for me relatively soon. Uh, there's, there's nothing... There's no paper that tells me how much I have to spend on this. Or here. Yeah, this is definitely under construction. Um... I don't know if I can actually buy anything from here or if I should wait. Rail, please tell me in the comment section, or Buck, tell me in the comment section what I should do. Should I wait or should I buy stuff now? Also, I need to go to bed. That would be a good idea if I went to bed. Oh, and I love the, the detail of... Just the random spruce leaves all over the place. That's just... What is that? Oh, I think that's the track to um, Silver's... What do you call it? His Iron Farms. I think that's what that is. <laughs> that's a random... Like, just random thing in the sky. Anyways, let me go to bed. Get this out of the way. Did I leave this open? Or did somebody else leave it open? Oh, by the way, I've been hiding the chat because um, it keeps doing that OpenGL error 1280 invalid enum, and I don't know what that is or how to prevent it. I've tried really hard. Um, that's Silver's logo. I've tried really hard to prevent it. It doesn't work. Everything that I've tried, so I don't know what to do. Hello, there's a, just a giant head here. There's a giant head here. There's <laughs> just a giant head. <laughs> New shop. <laughs> okay. Um, name tags and hearts of the sea for two diamonds. That's it. That is cheap. Oh my god. Wow. All items in here for five gold. Saddles and diamond horse armor for one diamond each. 
Dude, your prices are awesome! One diamond for a drown skull? Well, I have two drown skulls, so I don't need to spend money on that. I do think it Hello! Two diamonds for one skull. Ooh. Ooh, an enderman. Player head. Why does it say player head? It's an enderman head. It's not a player head. I don't want turtle heads. I have pet turtles. I, I will feel very, um... I, I will not feel good. But that it it's shaped like his head. I mean, it's built like his head. It's it's adorable. Like, look at this. He also has windows in the back of his head, which is he has windows for ears. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's adorable. So, um. There was one thing that I promised Game Par to that I um, said I would do in my next episode that I uh, kind of forgot to do. But there's just random knockies here. Alright, anyways. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? Who's selling this? There's just a slime shop here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are too many things going on, and I, I don't think my brain can handle them all. Um. Oh, right, yeah. I promised Gamepart that I would give him a shout-out for his experience shop, which I haven't um done. So, basically... This is Game Park Industries Purveyors of Experience. It's exactly what you're thinking. He sells experience. So, um I'm I'm gonna simplify this for you guys and just say that you take off anything that has mending on it that you don't want to be mended. And you hold the thing in your hand that you do want to be mended. And you take the cactus green that's already been cooked out of the furnace. And it repairs your thingy. It's pretty awesome. So I don't need to repair any of that. Do I need, does this have mending on it? Yes, it does. Okay. So that is what I would really like to repair. Boom. <laughs> is that, that just like the coolest thing? And you could do like up to four, but I don't need that. So I'm not going to do that. Let me put all my stuff back on. There we go. So now my shovel is repaired. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Oh, look at that. It goes all the way. Yeah, it does. So it is this thingy that his trackway that goes to the iron farms, which I haven't actually looked at in person, so I want to go look at it. Wait, wait, hold up. There's There's been things built over here, I think. Yeah, there's trees. There are trees. Thank you for beautifying the place. Is this part of the random beautification program? That's like a thing that I think Buck did, or started, which, um is for was something that he originally pranked um, Pigcart with. So, yeah, you'll have to forgive me for being just slightly sniffly still. So, long story short, I had a really severe sinus infection. I've never had a sinus infection before in my entire life, so I had no idea that I had one. But it started to become extremely painful, and I was very... Um, upset about it because I kept going to doctors and they kept not wanting to do anything for me and that made it that much more upsetting and more painful so finally I found a doctor who gave me antibiotics and then I was fine but uh, um, I had to stop taking the antibiotic because it kept making me sick to my stomach and I had oh wow that's exciting looking because um, I had like a really bad stomach bug too, which was not the flu, because I've had the flu shot, although I will never get the flu shot again. 
And so, um, I was just so tired of being sick to my stomach all the time. So I stopped taking it today. And I feel perfectly fine. And I, I know they say you should always finish your antibiotic. Well, um, I'm tired of throwing up. So <laughs> I've had enough of that. Um, and your body says no more, that means no more. So this is one of his iron farms. I don't know how well this one I well this one works um in comparison to the other ones because I heard that apparently he was having some difficulty, but I don't know how to help. So I don't know if maybe he did sort out the problem. I know that when it came to doing this tube, that was the biggest struggle, but he got it to work. So, yeah, I just wanted to like actually see it in person because I think it's like so awesome. The fact that he spends this amount of time on that, I think is just amazing because I would never bother with something like that. Me personally, I don't really like to build machines in this game very often, if at all. So for me, it, it does not pique my interest, but when other people do it, it does pique my interest. I always find what other people do in this game be far more fascinating and interesting than the stuff I do. Like, I just build fantasy stuff, um, houses, and everybody else is, like, building these, like, giant machines that, you know, make money off of their server mates. So, um, yeah. But, um, there we go. So, yeah, this is a slightly short episode because I didn't really have anything planned because what I had originally planned didn't really, um come to fruition the way that I wanted it to, but I'll get to it eventually, don't worry. Next episode, I'd really like to get everything sorted out. So, um, anyways, uh, where would be a good place for me to end the episode? Probably right at the feet of the, um, giant wither. I think that'd be a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, right in front of the giant wither. So anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My deepest apologies for how I haven't been able to record even though, you know, I didn't choose to get sick. It was very upsetting that I couldn't record, so um, I'm sorry that that happened. I hope you guys weren't worried. I, like, couldn't update you guys because talking would make me horribly congested to the point where I couldn't breathe through my nose at all. And I would get horribly inflamed and then every medicine and thing that I took and did would be useless at that point. And so... Yeah, like, I really could not do anything about it um, until I finally got the antibiotic. So anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for being patient with me and understanding. And um, now I'm back and things are back to normal. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, very short episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time.